and another breathing so weird. It's fine, we will look after her. Do you know, she might have taken anything. We were only there. She's been looked after. She was that when we got there. Please, wait here. I'll come and get you when we know anything. Please. Doctor! Jimmy! I know you're anxious, no, but do you mind... No. She might have taken something. Well, this could be crucial in her treatment. What might she have taken? How many? I don't know. Right. Just take a seat. Is she going to be OK? I think it's unlikely she took more than a few pills. At least we knew what it was, so we could act promptly. So, yes, she's going to be OK. And there's not going to be any after effects? It's not going to affect her brain or anything, no? So, can we, can we take her home? Oh, we'd prefer to keep her in overnight, just for observation, to be on the safe side. Jimmy, she's going to be OK. I'm afraid we have to inform the authorities in cases like this. I'll talk to them. No, no, it was me that spoke to Fraser. Um, I'll, I'll do it. What is she seeing him? Well, he can be quite charming when you first meet him. It takes a while to realise he's a piece of work. Hi, Frankie. Kat, thought it was you. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I'm sorry about your mum. She was always lovely to me. Thanks. I thought it might be easier because we knew she was ill for a long time before she died, but it doesn't really make any difference. How long? How long was she ill for, Karen? We didn't know where you were. Found me when you wanted to, though, didn't you? Did he tell you not to contact me? Oh, Frankie, don't. He's not like he is with you, with me. We get on. Yeah, I noticed. You haven't been written out of history like I have. Well, I would have put pictures of you up, but we don't have them anymore. Don't tell me he got rid of them. No, she did. The album she made of you as a kid, it's gone. She asked the lawyer who's handling a will to send it to someone. Who the hell would want my photos? I don't know. Does he know where they are? No. I, I asked him and he doesn't. Look, I really need to go and say hello to people. See you later. Okay. Sorry for asking. Can you spare some change, mate? Sorry, Have a good day. Excuse me, have you got any spare change? Yeah. So I've got. What's your name? D. D? I'm Dean. How are you doing? How is Gabby these days? Is she still teaching? She's got the job. Excuse me, mate. And what? Stuart, is Jackie about? No, she's out. What's she doing here? Shona. She's Alan Pitt's alibi with any skelter. No, no, not her. The redhead. Hiya. G.I. Ross. I uh, saw you in the street the other day. You were begging. I remember. Yeah, I was chatting to a couple of guys there doing charity work. Aye. Him. Was that bastard got me mixed up with Pitt in the first place? Told me where to go to get a free meal if I mentioned his name. He's got burns, hasn't he? It was him sent me as well. The same one. What? Burns down here? Robbie! Okay, I've just received the message that the Endeavour is ready for takeoff. When the door to your right opens, please board the craft in an orderly fashion and don't forget to pick up your flight glasses on the way in. On behalf of Earth Matters, we hope you have a great journey. I'll talk to you again once you're seated. <laughs>